morning guys today is the 28th of november 2016 i was actually just on my way out to get some mail and to move some cars and walked around the corner and i said that midsummer day's dream mazda miata automobile of the year automobile magazine one of the world's five best cars road and track car of the year modern motor the dream is now available with automatic transmission, optional removable snug fitting hardtop, plus the best warranty in the business, Mazda Miata. It just feels right. All right, so that was a few days ago. Um, today is actually the 30th, November 2016. And yes, I got these bad boys. I got new wheels. I got this new Enki Apache 2, brand new from America. I'm pretty excited. Uh, came really quick, actually only about six days. Now I'm about to head off. Uh, I'm gonna get the new tires on the, on the on the wheel so I can put it on ASAP. Hey buddy. Good man. Um, is it possible to kind of get the boxes back? I just need sure. to sell the other set of wheels. Yep. Thanks guys. Yeah. Thanks mate. Another MX-5. Looks really cool. All right, guys. So got the wheels there. Uh, fitted with the tires. Just came from Bob Jane T-Mart. They had a really good deal of his. Bridgestone has the buy one get one, uh, buy three get one free right now. I wish it was buy one get one free. Um, and Bob Jane had, the, I guess, the best price for the RE003. So I went with the RE003. Um, I guess just driving home now, hoping that. The hub rings or spigot rings or whatever you want to call it have arrived at home um, so I can fit these and actually uh, adjust the car so that we can fit these thicker rubber. All right, back home now. Um, got the tires fitted on the wheels, looking really nice. So these are Enki Apache. What was that? All right, so when I first got the MX-5, I really wanted to make it. A certain kind of style of the car and one of the biggest things that I wanted was retro wheels and my priority was to actually get work equipped O1s except the second hand price for those wheels were a bit too out of my budget and I'm very kind of like strong on the budget thing with cars I don't want to go all out um, and the funny thing is the prices on second hand local cost the same amount of money if I was to buy brand new but then I don't want to buy a brand new at that price um, but I really wanted the four spoke design and I found out about these wheels that Enki was actually making their old school Apache which is really hard to find by the way um, and it's a new design with new materials and new ways of making wheels to make it stronger uh, so everything was all good and I went on looking um, they look really good these are the polished lip with the silver centers and some of the center is actually polished lip as well which is kind of cool because it kind of flows in um, now, don't judge me. I know that you guys, uh, uh, the wheel kind of enthusiasts, will judge me. These are fake. This is actually a one-piece wheel, and I have confirmed by from Enki, and by looking at the wheel, it is a one-piece wheel. Um, these bolts are there to kind of mimic the olden days of the Apache, the, the original Apache. See, the thing is, Enki wanted to make uh, a retro Apache design without the high cost of a two or three piece wheel which the original design you know, had. Um, so they made a one piece wheel with these fake bolts. Now I, 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 I like the fact that it's spaced out so it's not like you know the BBS ones when it's fake it looks really bad. These ones are spaced out so there's not so much bolts around. Um, I, do, do, I do hate the fact that they are fake though. Um, the only one cool thing about it, the bolts actually come out. There's a hole. Uh, the bolts have literally come out. But it's holding nothing. Um, now, but yes, they are not, they're not as light as, you know, they're not as light as you would want them to be. But all the other retro wheel designs that I was looking at anyway weren't light um, at all. The work VS wheel that I have on the MX-5 now is a lot heavier than this, around about 2 kilograms heavier each wheel so I'm still winning on that. Got these tyres from Bob Jane, 
RE003 is Bridgestone ha having a massive sale at the moment with the buy three get one free. Um, I got a 205 55 15, uh, the original world, what I have right now is 19550. Um, I do realize that I have a massive increase of profile on the side, meaning the car will go a lot higher. Um, the idea was to go to 20550, except there wasn't much that was making it apart from 8008Rs, and they were quite expensive. And they didn't have the sales, so I thought I'll take advantage of the sales, see if I like it or not. If I don't, then the next size will have a better fitment. So I've opted for the 15 by 8 plus 25. Um, they look really nice, and I'm hoping they fit really well with the car. Um, I'm still waiting on the hub adapters or the spigot rings or something like that um, for them to come and then I can fit it on the wheel. So for now, it's just to kind of admire it. I wait for the uh, hub ring adapters, which should come today. I'm just waiting for the postman. The boy, where are you, postman? I thought I'd install all the other parts that I got. Basically, I have these vent chrome rings um steve gave me these um but he got them from rev limiter these are the shaka chrome rings got myself a drift button not going to be using it as a drift button i'm still going to keep the spring inside the handbrake i just wanted a, a a chrome highlight in the handbrake to match the gear lever also got a new gear lever not really how i feel about it um it looked good on the website not sure about it now these are top miata uh just performance yes um same as the uh matching drip button for the handbrake lever uh they kind of look like the ones in steve's one um but it looks like the quality is not as great that's all right i'm i really don't like the voodoo one um i know there's a lot of guys out there that that kind of love it and stand by it um just not as comfortable with that round ball design wanted more of a lever knob kind of design um Went from the classic look again with the whole classic retro race sporty car kind of theme going on. Got these switch flippy thingy. Went with the black aluminium design. Um, again, these are the same thing. Top Miata, just performance. Really cool stuff, really cool designs, except they are so slow with shipping. These things took over a month and a half just to get here. Alright, so I got the original um, <clears throat> pop-up switch out. <clears throat> Sorry. And I got these ones in, trying to get that in. Uh, the funny thing is actually there's no more screws needed, which is weird. Um, <clears throat> it kind of just attaches itself with these little washers on top of the plate, so. Yeah, so it's a bit of a funny design. It doesn't use the screws because the other one had a box with a screw kind of on it. So we can get rid of those screws. Um, it just goes through with these little tabs that attaches itself to little plastic nipples. Um, and then you screw like a nut on the other side with the plate. Looking good. All right, this is the handbrake button, right? That's the button. To get it off, you basically just have to unscrew it. There's just a screw. There's a spring inside, so you make sure you can't push the spring as you unscrew it. Um, I've been finding it really difficult to get it out so I got these rubber bands just to get the grip and I still can't get it out and it still can't get it out okay so I actually given up yesterday uh, my rule is for car modding and car installation stuff if I can't get something right or if I can't get it off or if I can't get anything out to install the new part I don't force it I sleep on it rest do something else and maybe the next day I'll figure out a new way to do it or maybe it'll soften up. Anyway, I don't force it so I don't break anything. So basically I couldn't get the handbrake button off, so that's it. Didn't want to do anything else. Um, just wait out a day and now we're gonna start again and hopefully we can get this done. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a spider in the car after one day of just opening the door and window. It's what you get for living in the hills. Let me get a closer look before it jumps out of me. It kind of looks something serious. What are you doing there, buddy? Alright, so I'm finally able to get this off. The trick was, funnily enough, you have to pull, not push, obviously. 
you have to pull this button out while you're twisting it and it's really tight so if you think yeah, you're not twisting it you're actually doing something to it so just keep going at it man um, but yeah it's really annoying sir but finally got it off and actually can get the other stuff installed the new one's on This is the old one, the stock ones, funnily enough, this had a longer thread than the Just Performance ones, um, which is really weird because if I continue to screw that all the way to the bottom, obviously there's no more button, it's off just flat, um, which is weird. So at the moment it's kind of like half screwed, meaning I can turn it either way, just there, you know, it's not solid, which is really annoying, but it's on. Now, why why did I pick uh, this specific one? The thing is, I wanted the car to have um, chrome or silver highlights, not exactly features. So, I mean, the 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 knob, the gear knob, I chose to be chrome and silver, um, but I don't want to change the whole handbrake lever to be chrome. So I just chose the button. Thought it might be a kind of a cool, different, unique way to do it. It's just highlights again with the with the flip retro switches um, I chose the black polish backing with the chrome switches to make it more of a highlight than a feature um, so yeah, I'm hoping that everything turns out really well um, during the day once I finish everything off alright so now it's vent time um, I installed one already on one of the vents I used double tape on that one I don't think double tapes will last so um, what I'm planning to do is actually use silicon this time and obviously some methylated spirits uh, just to clean a bit of alcohol to clean the surface up should do it all nice neat done Wheels are all fitted in, tight, all fitted in, put on the car, everything's set up, <clears throat> adjusted the cold overs obviously. Uh, but I'm not sure if the GoPro kind of showed it and I don't know if you guys saw it, my face and the wheel itself, it is scrubbing, the rear right seems to be scrubbing a lot. Um, everything else is fine though, but it is quite high so I still need to adjust it more and get an alignment as well, uh, maybe get some more camber at the back and then adjust it again. And just keep working on it until I get the most perfect height and no scrubbing. But yeah, other than that, it's been a long vlog, but thanks for watching guys. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.